Why do people fail at going vegan? The main reasons why people fail at going plant-based and going vegan and transitioning into this lifestyle, it comes down to a few specific reasons. And I'm going to give you three reasons right now why people fail at going vegan. So let's jump straight into it. Number one is going to be people fail to do their research. All right. As simple as that. They don't do their research. Maybe they watched one documentary. Maybe they seen what the hell and they say, you know what? I don't want to continue to do this to my body. I don't want to continue to help the torture, the outrage of the meat and dairy industry. I don't want I don't want to, you know, be a part of that anymore. So they say, you know what? I'm going to go vegan. And they try it out for a week and they say, you know what? I can't do it anymore. I want some meat. I'm tired all the time. But oh my goodness, this is terrible. But why? Because they really didn't do the research. They just said, you know what? I want to do this because I don't want to cause harm, which is good. But they didn't do their due diligence. You have to do your due diligence, right? If you're going on a vacation, you plan for it. If you're about to get ready to start a new job, you go do some type of training. You have to do your research first, right? So watching one documentary isn't going to cut it. You know, reading one book isn't going to cut it. You have to constantly be learning about this. All the things that you need, supplementation, types of foods, what what is your body type, and things like that. And that way, you can actually sustain this lifestyle, right? Number two. People do not eat enough food or not eating enough of a variety of different things. Let me explain. Most people, when they go vegan, they say, you know what? I'm vegan now and I'm just going to eat fruit and veggies. All right. Besides the fact they're not getting enough um, vitamins and minerals or the right supplementation, they're not eating enough hearty foods that's going to keep them full and keep them in a healthy state also keep them keep their bodies actively moving and actively working the way that they should work do you get what i'm saying so you have to eat enough food right our bodies need a certain caloric maintenance each and every day i talk about this all the time right i help my clients determine what their maintenance is so they can get enough food so they can build muscle um, and actually lose fat at the right ratio right so if you're going vegan you need to know your body type you need to know how much food you actually need and you can't just go around eating salads all day it's not going to work you're not going to sustain it and you're going to end up binge eating and reverting back to old patterns and you're just going to feel terrible right so instead of eating salads all day instead of Eating fruits and vegetables all day, which are good and have their role and have their place. You still have to eat some legumes. You still have to eat some grains. still have to eat some healthy fats. still have to carb up. Also, you got the plant-based options out there. Plant-based meats. the plant, and, and all these different things that you can consume. Snack foods. I talk about the 80-20 rule. 80% of the, 85% of the foods that you actually need and 15% of the foods that you actually love. So you don't, you know, hinder yourself and keep yourself from enjoying amazing, delicious, delectable foods, right? And that's how you stick to it. Now, number three, a lot of people go vegan for the wrong reasons. Now, what does that mean? What does that actually entail? Well, I'll give you an example. When I went vegan, I went vegan purely for the animals. I saw the destruction it was doing to the planet. I saw the destruction it was doing to my body. But most importantly, I saw the destruction on the wildlife, how, they, how the animals are tortured right 
And I don't want to put that in my body. I don't think that's what should go in our bodies. Torture, destruction, fear, anxiety. All these different things. Cortisol. Think about it. Being tortured for three days. Cortisol stresses all through the tissues of the body. Then they get slaughtered and they send it off to the processing plant. And it goes straight to your plate. What are you eating? Right? But that's the reason why I went vegan. But most people go vegan because purely for health reasons. And when you do it that way, it's good. Trust me, it is good. And it is a health benefit. Don't get me wrong. But the reason it has to be very, it has to be up there for you to actually stick to it. It has to, your, your why has to be important. It has to be deeply rooted. Because if not, when it gets hard, when it gets tough, when it gets difficult, when you don't want to do it anymore, it's going to be easy to revert back to old patterns. So your why has to be strong enough. And this is exactly what I tell my clients. Like if you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to tone up, you're trying to become the healthiest version of yourself. Why do you want to do it? That's the, one of the first questions I ask. Why? Just because <laughs> I can't help you. But if you're wise because you know what? I want to change my life. I've always been overweight and I never thought I could change it. I want to change it. I've always been skinny. I, I, I can never gain weight. And now I went vegan and I'm stuck. And I don't want to be this way anymore. Or I, ha I have some type of illness or ailment. I want to reverse that. The why has to be strong enough. And the same thing applies to going vegan in every other area of your life. If you are wanting to accomplish something or do something or change the vehicle direction of your life trajectory, the why has to be important. And you have to be very diligent at that and know why you're doing something. And that's how you do it, all right? So if this video was any value to you, please comment below the most valuable part um if you have questions send them to me on um instagram at fueled by plants with two z's at the end all right till next time fuel yourself don't fool yourself and peace out hey thanks for watching the video if this video was any value to you whatsoever please like comment share and subscribe also if you are struggling on your fitness and health journey and you need help, I want you to click the link below right now, schedule a free consultation call with me, all right? Absolutely free, no strings attached. Also, if you just need some tips, join my free Facebook group for vegan beginners and people who just want to be around like-minded individuals, all right? So, till next time, fear yourself, don't fool yourself. Talk soon.